Hey guys, Magnus Robber here bringing you another video. This one is uh, just a brand new event idea video. Well, I say that, it's more of a remastered event idea. Now, I did this one before, but I had to remove it because of copyright issues. Um, there were some issues with those the, the way I formatted those videos. It didn't... It it was it was fair use still, but it was very vague. It was a grey area of fair use, so I, I just removed them to to stop any um, controversy going on with copyright and stuff because I didn't want you know the channel coming down or anything. So I had to remove these videos, and someone requested that they wanted to see it. And honestly, this video didn't take me very long because I was pretty much just taking everything from that video and put it on here, um, so on the, like a PowerPoint instead because that definitely is in fair use completely. Um, but so. Uh, I'll be doing it in this format, and I can, I can redo, because I redid the alcohol-themed update, but I actually completely changed that, because I didn't put that in, like, an act format, and I have changed this slightly as well, because I've structured it like a mini-event, so the mini-event essentially is going to be the, well, Springfielders want more entertainment, they want a zoo, so let's build a zoo, and that will essentially be the quest line of it, so you'll essentially have to send uh, Springfielders to build back the zoo, because all the animals have escaped as well, let's, let's say that as well, I don't know. <laughs> Or they want they want to put the animals in a zoo. But basically, this is a builder zoo. So someone requested this. Also for the guy, is it Spring King, I think. If I'm wrong, I do apologise. Uh, he requested the Gills deals uh, remastered, uh, or the 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 27 or the updated Gills deals. They will be happening soonish. But those videos are going to take me longer to make. So obviously, um, I I did this first. Uh, I forgot who actually requested this one in particular. But whoever you are. Uh, I'll pin your comment if you comment on this video. Um, so yeah, let's see. So, okay, so first of all, we have the store. So I think this is pretty cool. So I've, I've labeled it, I've put it in a store, I've put it in store, price track, and of course, uh, another feature. So basically we have, first of all, we have the panda cones for 3,000. So this is a little new vending machine now. We actually have a lot of these kind of like little, not vending machines, but you know what I mean, vending, uh, Carts. I don't know what you could actually call them, but yeah, we have a couple of these in in Springfield. Uh, of course, we have like them um, the the cobbler, the no cab cab whatever the heck the heck that is that crab thing that Homer eats in New York. Uh, but no, but this one's pretty cool. Um, we have Marine World now. Marine World isn't a part of the zoo; it is a separate thing, but it's very similar. Like Marine World is essentially a, a zoo for marine animals. So I thought that they could throw this in as like another building for eighty-five donuts. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, there's not really anywhere else they can really add this anyway. I can't really think of an update that they could possibly really add this. So for eighty-five donuts, just throw that in there. That would be really really cool. Uh, we have the Rhino NPC, so you can buy one of these for thirty donuts. Maybe it can unlock a task for Homer, or carrying Homer, like, for, so Homer's, like, get carried by a rhino, or get attacked by a rhino, and he's just getting, uh, wandered about by the rhino. That could be a pretty cool task that they could unlock for Homer once you get this NPC, but this NPC is pretty cool. I would like one of them anyway, because, of course, when the rhinos escape, Marge uses her card to, like, herd them all up, I'm pretty sure, but, um... I do want a rhino in the game, just just one will do though, um, for 30 donuts, um, an NPC. And then also we have the Simpsons monkeys, so this will just be in like a little cage. Uh, this was actually from an old skit, the old, from the Tracy, Tracy Allman show? I don't know, um, is that what it's called? I always forget the, the name of that show, but the thing that the Simpsons was originally on before it became its own independent show, uh, it was actually one of those skits. Now it would be really, really cool if they could actually add these like, Obviously, they'd have to remaster it a little bit, but these, like, kind of monkeys look a lot like the Simpsons. Just in a little cage, that would be so cool. For 40 donuts, it'd be a nice, like, little reminder of that little skit. Um, and then, finally, the kind of the main premium thing for this event. And some people probably will be pissed off that this is the premium thing. And it could be the other way. It could be the, the panda... Uh, exhibit is the premium and this is the final prize that is possible as well and I to be honest with you I wouldn't mind but uh, basically we have the uh, octopuplets exhibit with the octopuplets for 280 donuts um, and so you're getting the octopuplet um, uh, stage thing which is here so you're just gonna get this like big stage and then you unlock all eight as one big character so they're not gonna be individual characters I think that would be a bit silly because they wouldn't be the tasks would be pretty boring uh, if they were together they'd have much more interesting tasks um, so I think to get one big character uh, essentially an eight in one character which will be the biggest we've ever got will be really cool but I think it will really work uh, obviously they would be kind of a bit There'd be a bunch of them walking around, but I think it could work, and I'll tell you later why. So, here's the prizes. So, like I said, they could use, they could move this here as the premium item, 
and then move this Larry guy, put him there, and then put uh, this as the final prize. That could be possible as well, but I've just gone with this for now because that seems more plausible. I think that is fair, though, for premium players to get the... I don't know, because the the, the um, normal players are getting two char a costume, uh, an NPC, and uh, a playable character for free, which I think is fair enough. But the big thing, the big one in eight, I think, uh, is probably fairer for premium people. But anyway, first of all, you get the zoo entrance. So this is the first prize. Now, the zoo entrance actually has a special feature. It's one of these things where you will click it and it will, uh, you'll be able to make, you know, walls and stuff. And I'll get onto that in a minute. We also have the feeding hut, which is just this little hut here, which, which is used to, I, I presume to either, well, it's used, to, I think it's used to store food. <laughs> um, but regardless of what it is, it doesn't really matter, uh, that, cause it, it's going to play another role. And then we have the panda memorium. No, not memorium. Mon monium monium pandemonium um okay so this is basically an exhibit inside the zoo so you'll be able to actually just place this inside the zoo uh and of course you have the panda cones anyway so you can use those panda cones to decorate it with but you'll get ping ping and you'll get sim sim and uh, now uh ping ping is going to actually be a cost no ping ping is an npc and this is this panda here so he is just going to be a panda who will walk around as an npc and sim sim is this costume this is actually a costume for homer um so it's actually a new costume, but I think it would be a really, really awesome costume. Uh, the next prize is actually the baboon pit with the train track. Now we don't, we haven't really seen like an overview of the baboon pit, so they'd have to obviously create it themselves. But essentially, it's a pit and it's got like a little train track just just ro rotating around it. Now this is going to unlock two tasks for one for Ned and one for uh, Reverend Lovejoy. Now of course, they if they really wanted to, they could put the animations as a prize. I don't want that though. I would prefer it if they. Um, yeah, so basically, um, there's going to be two animations. One is for Ned to get attacked by baboons. The baboons are just going to be sitting in the baboon pit constantly, just just uh, just looking pretty angry. They'll just be sitting there, and there'll be a task for Ned to get attacked by baboons, and that will just be him inside the baboon pit getting attacked by the baboons. And then there'll be a task for Reverend Lovejoy, which is uh, uh, like... Um, Say, like save Ned using train or something like that, or ride train around baboon. Pit. It could be anything where he'll be literally riding his little train um, around the baboon pit. So that will be a really, really interesting little task. And then fun, uh, second to last prize is the Wild Animal Kingdom uh, sign. So of course, inside this is where the rhinos were, and some other stuff. I think like lemurs were there as well. Uh, but yeah, basically this will unlock, and you can you know place it down just to decorate the zoo a little bit more. And then the final prize is Larry Kill. Kid, kid Kill, which is a very nice name, um, and of course he is the zoo owner, he owns the zoo, um, and of course he was quite involved in the episode where uh, Manjula and Arpu of course gave over their kids for the thing, so he play a lot into that storyline as well, so he's an important character to unlock. I know he's not the biggest of characters, he literally is a one episode character, so it's not really the best of characters to unlock, but this update will be giving us of course the Octopotlets, and it will be giving us... Um, a really cool costume for Homer. So I think him as a final prize, although it's not an amazing final prize, I think it will, it, it makes sense because he's the zoo owner, you know? It's more for the format, the structure. Okay, anyway. But um, if you guys disagree, of course, and you think that this should be the final prize, then that's fair enough. But okay, so basically the Springfield, the zoo, um, the zoo sign um, will be able to actually make a zoo wall for 60 minutes and a zoo fence for two hours. So you'll be able to make like normal fences, uh, but they'll be like, they'll be a bit different to the iron fences basically. Or actually they could be like this, I don't know, something like that. But, um, and the wall will just probably be like a cobblestone wall. Uh, but then you, of course you could just use bushes if you really wanted, it'd be, it'd be up to you. Um, and then this is the really cool thing. So the feeding hut is basically going to unlock this thing where you can make a small animal exhibit for 60 minutes, a medium animal exhibit for two hours, a large animal exhibit for four hours. So these would just be like little cages. And the small one would be a little cage like this, like the lima one. Um, the medium will probably be like this kind of thing where it's like open. And then the large will probably be like a huge like uh, boarded off thing. Um, but they're not going to be too interesting because you'd have to decorate that yourself probably you know, putting like stuff like the reindeers in, or or just decorating it so it looks like a, like an exhibit, like an animals exhibit. But there'd actually not be any animals in it. But if you bought a bird exhibit for six hours, that would include you can buy two of them, and that will include some birds in it. There was a picture, I haven't got it, but trust me, there is a bird. They did show a bird exhibit. Uh, we have the lemur exhibit for eight hours. It's right here. 
so um, you can only make one of them the line exhibit for 10 hours which is here again you can only make one of them and giraffe exhibit for 12 hours which is here and you can only make one of them so this is going to be able to actually make the exhibits and then that's how you slowly build up the thing so once you unlock this it doesn't even you don't even need to complete the event in the amount of hours you're going to have you're going to be able to complete it whenever you want um, I really like the idea of that because it, it's it's helpful as well for say down the road when the event's already over and you're thinking oh there's a there's a blank space and I need to fill it up with an exhibit why don't I make a medium animal exhibit and decorate it a little bit just to fill that space up and of course for players who who are doing that and they couldn't do the design when they were doing the event because you know something to do with land or something like that or they didn't have the time um, <clears throat> to actually build that part of that Springfield, then they'd be able to just do this later and create this stuff later, which I really like. It's a bit like the um, the Brandine task with the the kids, and and of course they they've done it a few times now with 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 things that you click and then you you make stuff inside of it, which I think is a really cool feature. So that is what I've added from the last video I did. Um, so yeah, that would be really, really cool. So there's, there's, that would be the quest line is overall is just making the zoo, but obviously when they're making the zoo. They were going to include the Octopotlets kids, because uh, of course they were a zoo exhibit, um, which sounds really bad. <laughs> but anyway, we have the t tasks for the Octopotlets. So first of all, help run the store for 60 minutes, split up and hide for 4 hours, so the store will of course be in the Quickie Mart. Um, split up and hide is going to be a really, really interesting task where they literally will all um, divide in your Springfield. They'll all just divide. Um, and then... Once the task's done, because there's always an issue with the f where where does the thumbs up go, it will just go on one of the boys, one of the girls, just one of the random ones. Um, and when you click it, it will... So, a bit like the mutant rabbit. Um, yeah. But anyway. Uh, go to daycare for six hours. This will be at the probably the tots... What's it called? The Ara Arian... Ara oh, I don't know what it's called. The one that Maggie was with. Um, I know she came with the Play-Doh factory, but there was the that other... Uh, tots factory but that's where they'll go uh, if you've got it uh, mess mess up the apartment for eight hours this will be in mandula and rp's apartments uh, perform on stage for 12 hours this will be an animated task on the stage and power nap for 24 hours this can be i'm going to save the quickie mark because it just be because it's a universal building that everyone has and then we have the simpson costume for homer so get that for 60 minutes this will be animated do a panda dance for four hours again this will be animated in the panda uh thing uh, eat bamboo for six hours this one won't be animated but still a pretty funny task try run away for uh eight, 12 hours that could be animated i don't know how to do it and mate with ping ping for 20 24 hours this will be a pretty funny one i don't mean that when we graphic don't worry but it will be basically um uh ping ping grabbing homer by the sort of legs and just dragging him across like springfield that basically so it will include the ping ping npc so the ping ping npc isn't useless it will actually have an animation um that it will do after i don't think it should be a full playable character though and then we have larry so sell Octopult the tickets for 60 minutes, manage the zoo for four hours, go to court for six hours. Of course, that's in the court. These two are in the zoo. Oh, no, that one will probably be... That could be animated, I guess, because I think that showed him. Laugh at Homer for eight hours. This could be animated, I guess, but it's not really that... I don't know, that will just be with Homer, I guess. Uh, walk around like a shady guy for 12 hours. That one will be animated. And then get out of debt for 24, 24 hours again in the zoo. Not not the most interesting task. So that's probably uh, why they possibly could switch that around. But I feel like he should be a prize, at least, because he's not an interesting character. Like, if there's a non-interesting character, I think that they shouldn't be premium. Because premium should be a better character, I think. But anyway, that's that's pretty much the event. Um, that's it all. So that's the build your own uh, zoo event idea. I hope you enjoyed this little idea that I had I did it ages ago and it wasn't the best video anyway so uh, this one now is formatted exactly how I want it and I think this event could really really work especially with the Octobullets because we'll, get, we'll be getting a really important character a really important bunch of characters and some not so not so important characters but some still some pretty funny ones but anyway thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this quick video and yeah I'll see you next video